Welcome back to Z2 Tutorials and today I have a quick little video for you guys on how to speed up your own computer using a little program called RAM Booster. It takes up hardly no memory, it's not even a megabyte big and it really does help boost your RAM. It's pretty self explanatory, I'll explain it a bit more inside the video. So you very simply just want to go to download.com you want to come up here to the search and you just want to search for RAM booster pretty easy there press enter you bring it to the search results and first search result should be RAM booster it's got almost 4 million total downloads so you can't really miss it it's version 2 there, pro there might be a new version if you're watching this a bit later and you know it's good stuff because the editor's rating is 4 stars and the user rating is 4.5 stars out of 5 so you know that it's pretty good as I said there it's not even a half a megabyte actually it's 372k KB so it's very very small indeed you can read the review there that CNET gives you they also give you a little video which explains how it works but you won't need that it's very self explanatory it just runs in the background and it doesn't disturb you one bit just click on download there and I am in Google Chrome so I'm gonna come, have to come down here and click on save as I, as I said lightning fast it just downloaded that quickly open that up it's going to bring you into the installation wizard you're going to accept the terms of agreement and of course you're going to read that as carefully as you can that's very important install it and finish and that's very easy you can view the readme file I don't think people really use that come down to your start menu and it should be there as launch RAM boost booster and there you have RAM booster version 2.0 it's going to have this very basic outlook you don't need to know anything about it all you need to know is how much free ram you want at any time i have four gigs of ram on my machine right now so i don't really need to have a target level of free ram but uh, i would recommend if you've two gigs maybe put around 500 mb and uh, it'll try and keep it for that free ram all the time and um, this is very very good if you use a program like um, google chrome for those of you that don't know, Google Chrome is very, very RAM intensive. So if you have a slow machine, but if you're using Google Chrome, that is why it takes so long to start off because it needs a lot of RAM, um, especially if you're one of those tab maniacs who has loads and loads of tabs open at once. So let's just look at some of the features here. It has your CPU usage, and it tells you how much RAM you're using and how much RAM is free. Go into the options you can put on sound. You want to make sure set auto optimization is on. You want to make sure that's check checked. You want to make sure that launch automatically at startup is checked, otherwise you're going to have to start it up yourself. And then you can just fiddle with that yourselves. There's no real need to go through with that, but that's it. That's a RAM booster done for you. I want to thank this guy. His name's up on the screen, screen right now. I actually don't know how to pronounce it, but whatever. He gave me the video idea for this. I really do want to thank him for that. It is a great little program, and thank you very much for giving me the idea for that. Uh, go ahead and check out his channel he's got some cool stuff on there too but that is pretty much it you guys that is RAM booster that will speed up your computer if you're still having troubles and if you do have a um, really slow computer you really do want to check out my last few videos which were on how to delete temporary files how to use CCleaner all that good stuff just go to my channel there and you'll find them in the video playlists and uh, it is very important that you use them because it will free up a lot of memory and hard drive space but that's it you guys, go ahead and subscribe, click that yellow subscribe button down there if you want to be brought to the subscription page and be updated with all my new videos because I do upload quite a lot of videos they're all very helpful, I do try try keep them high quality so make sure you do check that out but until the next video, this is Z Tutorials signing out